more than skin deep, Apple's embodiment agenda, and the promise of realistic avatars. Unveiled in June 2023, Apple's inaugural Vision Pro headset represents the tech giant's first bold salvo towards an embodiment agenda in spatial computing. Central to this ambition is Persona, a hyper-realistic digital avatar rendered through Apple's Mediator Reality platform. By using lifelike visual embodiments rather than cartoonish caricatures, Apple hopes mediated communications can become as intimately expressive as actual human presence. Personas aim to infuse air-driven virtual interactions with authentic emotional resonance by matching not just real-time movements, but the true depths of personal identity and expression. Generating Digital Human Likeness Remarkably, a user's persona is not a generic model but a facsimile crafted from their singular appearance. Upon configuring the Vision Pro headset, its array of cameras capture a stereoscopic map of the wearer's actual face, including texture, contours, skin tone, facial hair, accessories and all. This library of granular detail is fed into an AI processing engine that analyzes anatomical structure and idiosyncrasies. Leveraging bleeding-edge generative adversarial networks, it reconstructs an intricate 3D model strikingly close to reality. In action as digital proxy. Once created, this avatar serves as representation within 3D environments. Rather than showing the Vision Pro visor itself, the persona is rendered when video conferencing. Using real-time tracking of the user's head and expressions, it parrots movement and emotions to reflect reactions. The goal is for conversational partners to perceive personas as authentic proxies that remove the technology mediating back and forth engagement. Early partner support for Zoom, Microsoft Teams and Meta's Horizon Workrooms underscores Persona's integral role in intuitively infusing lifelikeness into virtual communications. Lingering questions around fidelity. For tech pundits who have tried early Persona demos, Apple largely delivers on this digitizing promise. But full fidelity remains handicapped by today's resolution and motion capturing limitations. Slight uncanny valley jitters endure. And replicating hands or full bodies rather than just heads remains daunting across spatial computing. Still, many experts effuse enthusiasm around Persona's lifelike advancements, even in its 1.0 version. The lightning pace of iterative improvements also suggests the gap to nearly indistinguishable replication could close quicker than expected. Broader impacts and ethical issues. Looking past technical constraints, Apple's embodiment agenda opens conversations around thornier issues of replicating identity and free will. As our alter egos permeate virtual realms, who retains rights or bears accountability for their actions? Can personas meaningfully consent, or be abused and exploited? Do they deserve privacy and agency protections? Legal accommodations around digital inheritance of one's persona also enter untested waters. While Apple sidesteps this philosophical terrain for now, its Vista Pro Gambit accelerates the urgency of these discussions around our coming era of mediated existence. Conclusion Although questions linger around the ultimate realism persona can or should attain, Apple's conviction that infusing personalization and humanity into artificial spaces can reshape technological experiences feels on target. Just as mice and touchscreens made computing more intuitive, mediating communications through lifelike avatars promises to tear down barriers between users and their devices. If this greater immersiveness also leads us to rethink social constructs, personal rights and legal conventions along the way, all the better to confront tough questions earlier rather than later. Because the r slash VR future is closer than it appears thanks to Apple's daring Vision Pro showcase.